This morning on Save a Buck Today, car care. If you want to squeeze a few extra years out of your vehicle, listen up. There are plenty of things to try to do to extend a car's life without the help of a mechanic. Lauren Fix has the fixes. She's the automotive editor in chief of CarZen.com. Lauren, good morning. Good to see you. Good morning, Lester. When we talk about, we're, we're going to save about 1,200 bucks here on, right. on the life of a car. Basically, we're going to spend a little to save some right. by skipping some trips to the mechanic. Right, a lot of things you can do yourself, and if people don't realize that, now you don't have to be a technician, but some of it's also asking the right people to do it for you. There's some great tips that you can have done for free, like you can have wiper blades, batteries, and, ca and engine air filters replaced for free at auto parts store if you buy them there. Back in the day, I used to tinker out of the hood for basic things, but now it's all computerized down there, and you think right. you can't do anything. The check engine light. Very that comes intimidating. On, I go to the mechanic. Right. I don't have to. Nowadays, you can buy a scan tool. This is a neat little scan tool. Plugs in under the dash in all 96 and newer cars. You start the car, you press the read code, and it'll give you a code. And then this particular one will tell you green, yellow, orange, or red. So whether it's a really big deal or right. just a little deal? And you look up the code in the book that comes with it. And for $80, it's a great investment. Get a bunch of people to use it. Listen, I don't have check engine lights coming on all the time, right. but... Ten people get together and put eight bucks in okay. a piece. And then it tells me oxygen sensor. Right. And you know I can fix that myself? What does an oxygen sensor look like? I have like? no idea what it That's even is. It. That's it. They're not that expensive. They're ten to fifteen dollars. It could be more depending on what it is. Believe it or not, that's 40% of your fuel economy. That can cost you up to $600 a year if it's this or something worse. It could be something simple like a gas So cap, right there we've saved 600 bucks. You can save a lot. That's, that's a huge thing right Let's there. talk about tire pressure. Now we know, we talk about that often as a right. safety thing. Right. Is this another, another area we can save wear right. and tear on the car right. itself? Absolutely. You should invest in a digital tire pressure gauge and for under $20 you can buy an air compressor. And these are great. You plug them into your lighter. I keep it in my garage. Don't have to even go to the service station. No, check it once a month. And why you want your own own gauges? The ones at the air at the at the gas stations or the corner store, they drop the gauge down. It's not accurate. It makes a huge difference. Ten dollars, best investment you can get. And then you can use it for anything: opening up, filling up an air mattress, a basketball, whatever it might be. Okay, so we knock off another. We just save another twelve dollars, yeah, roughly. Twelve bucks. It all adds out. up. You don't have to go anywhere, and it saves the life of the tires, which can be over a hundred dollars a piece okay, too. Okay, if you drive a lot, you're probably going to get your oil changed what five, six times a year. Right. Let's talk about oil and how that right. can save you I, some money in the long I'm run. I'm the hugest fan of synthetic. One, it's a green product, full synthetic oils. They have less emissions, which is good for the environment better for the life of the engine of the car, which is the most expensive part. And I wanted to show you inside an air filter, you can see why oil is so critical. If it's dirty and it plugs at the inside of an air filter, that's really going to make a huge difference to your engine if it can't function properly. So it's sort of like your arteries, you want to keep it clean. Costs a little more, but you can change oil every 7,500 miles. That's a huge savings as well. You compute about $245 we save. Right, that's a lot. Uh, it is a lot. It right. is a lot. You mentioned uh, filters here. Let's talk about the other filters. Right, and don't forget oh, lubricants as well. Lubricants. That's right for right. squeaky car. Right, you the door, the door jam squeaking. You want to use something like uh, a synthetic lubricant. They last longer, especially with the winter and everything, because otherwise it can cause damage to some of the body panels of your vehicle. So you vehicle don't have to too. run to the mechanic if you hear no, a squeak. That's you can just six bucks for a can. You save a ton of money right there. All right, now let, let's, let's talk savings. about air filters now for both inside right. and outside the car. Right, the engine air filters, like I said earlier, you can have those replaced with wiper blades or batteries if you buy them at an auto parts store. They're about five dollars on up. Sure. However, if you go someplace an oil change place, they might charge you forty dollars. And the same thing is true with cabin air filters. That's where you sit in the car. Would you want to breathe through this filter? Of course not. I don't either. So Filthy. you, and especially if you've got, uh, you're allergic to things, you've got health issues. A new cabin air filter is only around five or ten dollars. Well, put it in, put it in free if you. No, put it in for free, or you can do it yourself in your owner's manual. That book you never look at in your glove box and you fill the all napkins. Right. <laughs> Just about out of time, but we're switching to a white light headlight. Absolutely. We'll, we'll say we'll, it'll last longer. Right. Eighty percent of your driving decisions are based on visibility. Lauren, you want to use great headlights. Lauren, fix you saved me a lot of money. Thank you. Thanks so much. Good to have you. We'll be right Thank back you. with more today after this.